welcome to the testing world in previous session we have seen how we can create test case in python and we are executing the test case on the firefox browser so we have seen it was working fine now in this session we are going to execute the same test case on the chrome browser so first of all i am writing here like chrome driver and on the place of the firefox i am creating the object of the chrome driver so the rest of the thing will be same i'm going to execute this it's going to fail we will check why it's getting failed so i click on execute and we are getting some exception so let's check why this exception is coming so here it shows like in case of chrome we need to set chrome driver executable so means because in the case of the chrome we cannot trigger the chrome di directly for executing chrome we need some executable file we need chrome driver file and if you want to get the more information you can click on this url so i copy this url and going to here so it shows chrome driver which is required to execute chrome in web driver we can download the latest version from here so i'm going to the latest version and that's the chrome driver for windows so i click on this and start downloading so let it download and we need to set the path of this driver so let it download first here the file is downloaded i'm going to download it file and just extracting it so once you extract it i'm coming to extracted file that's my extracted file and we need to set this path so i copy this path coming to my test case and here chrome path and the chrome path i'm giving like this chrome driver dot exe so that was my executable file best practice is to use forward slash so i'm using forward slash whenever giving the path of my system so that's the forward slash i have given and that's the last forward slash now in case of chrome we need to set executable path so executable path is equal to this chrome path so everything is done now i'm going to execute this and this time you will see it will trigger chrome browser and rest of the steps will be same as we have already seen in the previous session so it's writing something on the text box and then click on search button so here we have seen that was my page so to execute firefox we need not to set any external path of the driver but in a case of chrome and the ie we need to download the browser executable file that's executable file is the driver file for a particular browser so we are going to get a different file for the chrome and a different file for internet explorer so we need to set we need to download this file and and part of this file need to be set here in the driver in the case of the firefox we need not to go for any executable file but in the case of the chrome and i we need a separate file so here in the session we have seen how we can execute our test case in chrome browser rest of the things are same just a executable path we need to set it over here so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video